Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Okay, I've got my fortnightly op shop haul video. I've, yeah, tried to cut it back to fortnightly now. Now, um, I do have a friend that is from interstate that is in South Australia at the moment and we're meant to be op shopping together sometime. So if she watches this, hi Megan, um, I haven't spent all my money and I didn't go to all the shops. So if you come up this way, there still might be a few things left for you. I thought I'll get mine out of my system today. And that way, if we go together, I can let her buy a whole lot of stuff and I won't fight her for it. So that's the plan. But I only went to three shops today. And I think there's eight in town. So there should still be plenty of stuff. So, okay, get started. I have got a fair bit to get through. Um, Yes, one of the stores had a whole lot of crafty stuff, so there's these, I think they're sticker embellishments. don't really like them, but what I do like is, um, they're so cheap in the secondhand shop, and I love looking at them and seeing how I can recreate them with the punches and that that I've got. Um, so some of these might go in, like my ideas journal, and then I might try recreating them, and that way I can do them in the colours and that that I want. Uh, pack of jumbo cards. I have got one pack now. I've got two so I should be able to start using the first one <laughs> It's a bit like that. So yeah, I got plenty so it must start using that sort of thing to put in my journals now uh, There was this beeswax for candle making and it's candle making making kit It's got a bit of a wick in there as well, but I have seen people melt beeswax onto like flowers and that on their covers, so I thought I'll grab that and yeah give it a go sometime when I'm a bit more experienced um, some silver trim so that'd be good for the Christmas journals nice autumn leaves these were real cheap so, um, label maker stickers I just thought they're word stickers so we can always use them on the um, ATCs and journal cards and stuff some leaves I love the look of those leaves. So. Then they had this, it's uh, templates for quilters. Feathers it says, but I thought that'd be really neat because you can trace around them and get the different sizes and you can make all these shapes with them apparently. So I thought even if you're not quilting, you could do paper quilting or something. So I thought that's something to play around with. Uh, one of the shops had patterns and usually they're quite expensive here like uh, two to three bucks so um, they had them at 20 cents they're not the best but at 20 cents why not just for the um, stuff on the inside because if they're selling them out at that price and they're not selling them in the shop and um, they're just going to get chucked out anyway so I've got plenty of the pattern to use now for things so I don't mind that one actually the pictures on it, same with that one. Now, the other, for about the last year, I think this one shop has had all these cottons. And I've been looking at them every time I go in there and thinking, no, nah, you know, they're a bit expensive. But now that I've started sewing, I just thought these are so good because you've just got plenty and there's nothing worse than running out of the colour that you're using and I love my purples so I grabbed a whole heap of purples and I can see myself using a lot of the pinks and then I bought some yellow as well so so I've got stacks of cottons now um there was a punch still in the pack never even heard of Sullivan's punches so we'll see if it works sometime it's a nice little butterfly one Oh, another stamp, 50 cents though, so it's just a Christmas tree one. There was a pack of, I think this was 50 cents too, um, your jewellery connectors or whatever you call them. So I thought they would be good for dangles and attaching dangles and things like that to the journals. Alright, now this is probably my score of the day, which I was so happy to find, although I didn't take the price off this one, so I'll do that. <laughs> um, playing cards I found two packs of nice playing cards I'm so happy because I'm always looking for them and the lady in the shop said that they had about six packs but then she saw that some of them had sold but she said that she counted them all to make sure they were there 
and that they did have more but they were a bit scrappy or missing some so she ditched them and I, I was like no <laughs> so I'll have to tell them to keep them for me but I just love both of these packs because these ones are roosters and they're sort of glossy silver and gold gorgeous ones and then a pack of ducks which I love because I love the birds so I think I've seen these ones before that someone else has them or something like them anyway so, so I was really happy to find those now I got these they're like coasters but they're Aussie sayings Bund from Bundaberg they do look like yeah I think they're like cardboard or thin paper coasters so I thought that'd be really cool for masculine style journals it's like fair crack of the whip and then it has like the translation or whatever so that'll be fun to go through and have a look at some more cotton I've got brown obviously as well um okay I'll start with my materials I grabbed this scarf I go and feel them all and this one felt like sari silk and I love the color of it so and it's made in Cambodia so it's very close to sari silk so um now I grabbed this it's sort of a really dark gray and it's a shirt it's a lined shirt so you've got the gray material and then the gray lace so that would be really cool to cut out and use I've got a few of that sort of thing because there were a fair few around today a black one I love using the black stuff um Christmas tablecloth I saw this and I had to have it um, it's there's heaps of it for the price and I reckon that would make awesome Christmas covers so I like backgrounds so I'll see how I go my sewing's not the best but I'll keep practicing and might be able to make some really cool covers out of that but there's heaps and heaps of it uh, one of the shops was had all this satin and they had two boxes full of this stuff, all different colours. I <laughs> just kept grabbing it, but then I limited myself to just four. Um, and then told my mum so she can go and get some. But there's these sort of, I don't know what you call that colour. It's not purple, but dark lavender, something like that. That's a purple. And this, I don't know if it's orange or pink. I don't know what that colour's called. So, and there was this bag of scrappy bits, but it looked like some nice florals. So I thought I'd grab that. Let's see what we've got. This is almost like a feels like a flannel sort of on that side, but not so much on that side. That's a beautiful floral. It's almost big enough for a small journal cover. So I love that one. Some scraps. That one's really cute. It's got little mittens. It's almost Christmassy, isn't it, with the mittens? I might have to put that to the side for my Christmas stuff. This one looks like, almost like a whole fat quarter. That's really cute. Like different little pictures there of the kids. So that was definitely worth, I think it was $2 maybe. And that one it's nice a set of six doilies I've been eyeing this off for a few weeks too but um they were a bit expensive for my liking even though there's six of them but uh, they had um at the salvos on the Thursday you get I get 20% off as well as the orange tickets were half price so this was an orange ticket item so it was worth getting then so I've got six of those I think they're lovely it's the same with the tops from the salvos they were half price so another black one I'm gonna have a lot of black lace which is good it's hard to see the pattern when it's that might be a bit better nice roses and that on it and I think that's a little dress so there's heaps of material and then this one which I think is a dress as well 
it's got these round bits. I thought that'd be interesting and it's a grey. Right, now we've got some walls, We're trimming things. I've got some of this. I've been grabbing a fair bit of this lately because I find it fascinating. And I like the texture of it. This one's, is it all like that? No, it's just the start of it. It's a bit gathered. Someone's been gathering it there, but I just think that'd be really cool. There's backgrounds and that as well. I've got a few different colours of that sort of thing now. And then this bag, which has a few interesting bits in it. Let me get it open. Oh, texture on that's interesting as well. That looks like Chrissy's style. <laughs> and then some of this feather trim, just a white. And then this, I really like the look of this stuff. I have no idea. It looks like eyelash trim. Oh, there is. I was going to say, I have no idea where the start of that is. Oh, no, it's not. It's just a wall, but it's, yeah, got the sparkly bits. But that's cool. Definitely use that in a few things. So, yes, yeah, so that was interesting. What was that? Oh, it doesn't say. I think it was about two bucks for each bag of those. And then I was in the paper section and they had manila folders. So I love grabbing them because I use the good ones in my um, file cabinet and then the ones that get a bit ruined in the file cabinet I take out and use um, for my projects. And I had a lot of um, Christmas, I had a Christmas section. So they had this, Christmas basics, it's all the same I think, just these little squares. I can do something with those. I like the colours. And this which has tags by the looks and wrapping paper. It's a gift wrap kit. It says it's got two different sorts of wrapping paper and that. So I think they were like a dollar. Each of these were like a dollar. So, And then this one which is to make those things I think. But I'd just use them as little tags and stuff. Do something with them and it's got your sticky dot things, squares and some ribbon so use that up. And then they had different like pad papers. And this one's got two packs in it I think. That one and that one. Stop buying Christmas stuff now. Um, there are a couple of stencils. It says they're stitching stencils I think because it says stitch first row following arrow. Repeat three times to complete cable, but I still think that'd be all right. Stencils for backgrounds and that, and mixed media. So I got that one, and yeah, that one, and that one. A book of horses. This is a really cool one too. It's got all these ones. Really cool to fussy cut. And then at the front it has lots of little ones, I think, I saw, yeah. That's an awesome book. Uh, they had Weekly Planner. That's just an example. It says a sample page, so it must be the blank blank one underneath. Let's do a check of that. Let's see what it looks like. But I love the colours on this. I reckon it's Kitchen Journal or something. It's got a magnet on the back as well. But yeah, so that's what it looks like. A lot of pages as well, so I think that's really cool to put into some journals. Then there was this gorgeous pad, it's got plastic stuck to me. It's got teddy bears, really cute. Love the colors on that one as well. More Christmas stuff. I don't know what I'll use this in. <laughs> oh, I know what I'll do. I'll just write letters. Everyone I do a swap with for the next few months will get a sheet of this. <laughs> a sunflower one that's a bit more useful everyone likes their sunflowers so and then I'm getting a collection of these but I don't have this one yet Windsor Elegance Photograph Album so really cool pictures and frames in here so, lovely to be able to cut those out and use them 
They'll be beautiful for the botanical covers and stuff. Be able to make tags with the little ones as well, probably. All right, and then the last thing is the jewellery. Oh my goodness, I don't usually do too much jewellery, but <laughs> um, I grabbed a necklace. Which one was it? I've got a bit of a mess of them here now. Anyway, first I'll show you that. I grabbed that purely because I really like their little leaf charms. And even the in-between bits. And the black beads are all right too, but I really love the leaf charms on that. And then I grabbed one of these. It was probably the one with the stars. I think they're just plastic. But I really like the stars on that. And there's a lot of them. So I grabbed that and it was, I think, $2. And then she said, you know, did you know we have a sale that you can get four of the jewellery pieces for $5? And so, of course, I had to run back and see what else they had. Don't mind me while I try and take them apart. <laughs> Bit hard to show you when they're all joined. Nearly got them, I think. There, that's a bit better. Put that one to the side. So I grabbed this one. I think it's quite like Aztec, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's a stick person. I didn't have a real close look. Anyway, from a distance, that one would be all right though. An Aztec style journal, I reckon, and the little beads as well. And that one was $7, so to get the four for $5 was good. This one was $4. But I really like these um, dangles because they're like lavender, so I think they'll be awesome on journals. And all the chain as well. What was that? Those are three, yep. And then I grabbed this bracelet because I like the colours. And it does have its own little charm. It looks like a little flower sort of charm but I like the colour of the beads and that on that one and then oh, got sucked into buying another bag of bits and pieces the bag has a hole in it so I'll open it up and have a quick look I did see a few things that I really liked in this one they had a big tub as well um, but I did like this one because love the look of this sort of thing that's another one for Chrissy I'll put that aside I think like tortoise shell pattern oh that's lovely I really like that and I saw lots of little bits like this little metal charmy bits I think this one was uh, the best one to grab. I'll probably use that on something as well. I don't think there's... Oh yeah, there is a way that goes that way to attach it. There's a few bits of that one. You never know what you're going to find. Like little disco balls. If there's anything else that looks interesting, triangles. It's an interesting bead, that one. That's pretty cool. I don't know, maybe front of a gothy sort of journal. Got more of them in a bluish sort of tone. Lovely little lavender glass beads. I must have so, like kilos of this sort of stuff that's in my craft room that I haven't like sorted out yet. So I must like organize a crafty retreat at my place one day just to sort out my beads. <laughs> it's a joke there. Don't take me up on that, please. <laughs> I'd die. That's pretty cool too. I think that's the best of it. There's a few little charms and these, whatever these things are. I don't know if you can see that. So that's pretty cool actually. I'm quite happy with that. So yes, that is it for me for now. I should be satisfied for a while. Um, 
so I hope you're all having a wonderful time crafting away. I've got to put all this stuff away, do the dishes, and then I get to do some crafting too. So take care, everyone. See you later.